Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 16.3. iOS 16.3 is a major software update released by Apple, and today I wanted to share a few things you should do right after you update if you decide to update to iOS 16.3. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i always recommend to everyone to do right after apple releases a major software update is go into settings head on over into general and then go into the about section now once you enter this section here after you update your device you may see a carrier update populate and pop up on the middle of your screen now if a new carrier update is available of course you're going to want to update the carrier settings this will help with call quality improvement and network data speeds and performance overall so the first thing you should always do is check for carrier updates now another thing i always recommend you do when you go ahead and an update to a new major update of iOS is head on over into the app store head on over into your avatar here and then check for app updates now even if you do have automatic app updates enabled sometimes developers do push out updates for a particular software and those don't kick in until about a day or two oftentimes so what happens is your apps are crashing you're having issues so you want to go ahead and make sure you check for app updates right after you update your iphone in ios 16.3 apple has also tweaked emergency sos and this is one of the options i recommend you check out because there's some new ui changes and a new option call call quietly now basically what this option will do and it is off by default by the way i recommend you enable this option because this will silence your device from making a loud noise or the alarm when you invoke an emergency sos by holding the side and volume buttons together so i'm sure you've heard that noise before or that sirens before where you hold the side and power buttons together and your iphone makes this loud sound and the flash comes from your camera to sort of uh, you know indicate that you're initiating an emergency call well this will quiet everything so it will silence your phone and it will eliminate the flash from your camera therefore allowing you to make emergency calls quietly when pressing the side and power buttons together to initiate an emergency call i think you should definitely think about this one i'm going to keep this one on because i don't want to be spotted when i initiate an emergency call some situations may be different but i recommend to keep it on something you may want to look into after updating to 16.3 now another option i recommend you visit is under your icloud settings here if we go to icloud settings we scroll all the way to the bottom here we find advanced data protection now apple has expand on advanced data Data protection and if it is available for you in your country I recommend you enable this feature because it adds additional categories of data that get protected by Apple servers end-to-end -end encrypted things from messages backups Safari bookmarks we also have you know your Siri stuff your voice memos your notes just a lot of new categories and of course you always want to keep your data as protected as possible and advanced data protection with iOS 16.3 has been expanded as well now a new feature within HomePod something that I did not expect was enabled this this year with iOS 16.3 and HomePod OS 16.3. So another thing I recommend you do, and this should happen automatically, but in case it didn't, you wanna go into your home application, you wanna go into your home settings here, and under home settings, you want to make sure that you check for software updates for your HomePod. Now, if your HomePod is up to date, you now have the temperature and the humidity sensors inside the HomePod now are enabled. So you can take a look at the humidity and temperatures inside of different rooms in your house. This is a great new feature. This is a sensor that's been inside of HomePod for years, but Apple has now enabled it with HomePod OS 16.3. And again, if you haven't updated your HomePod, I definitely recommend you do because you'll now be able to determine temperatures and humidity inside a particular room with your HomePod. And last but not least, one of the major features added to the software is under security and passwords or passwords and security under here we find the add security keys apple has enabled physical security keys on ios 16.3 so you can go ahead and store these locally on a physical device you can go ahead and now have a physical key stored on a physical device with iOS 16.3 to log into your Apple account. And those are some of the changes, some of the things I think you should take a look into right after updating to iOS 16.3. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to today's sponsor, Surfshark, for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.